Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to understand how to pass the data from the child component to the parent component in LWC. But before getting started, if you like my videos and if you are learning about Salesforce even a bit from my videos, I request you to please subscribe to this channel. So in this video, what we are going to do is, let's say I have a parent component, let's name it as P and we have a child component named as C. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass some kind of data from the child component to the parent component, right? I'm going to pass the data from the child component to the parent component. How to pass the data from parent to child? I've created a video on that using the direct API decorator. We can do that. I have created the video on that. I will provide the link in the description. But in this video, we are going to see how to pass the data from the child component to the parent component. And a very simple answer to this is we can use something called as custom events. I'm going to name this cust if. Okay. What you can do is in, you can fire a custom event from the child component. Okay. You can find this custom event inside this uh, child component. And as soon as you fire this uh, custom event inside this child component, you can handle this cust uh, handle this fire custom events inside the parent component. And that's how you can you will be able to pass the data from the child to the parent. So basically what you do is you create a uh, you create a component named as child component. You fire a custom event from your child component and whatever the event that is being passed automatically that data can be handled inside the parent component. So let's jump to the video or let's jump to the code. How we can we do it? So I have one parent component and I have one child component, right? So this is the parent component. And this is child component. So basically, in order to uh, in order to pass the data from the child to the parent, I have to fire a custom event. Now this custom event is going to be fired on the click of a button. Okay, in this video we are going to use a button in order to fire an event. So uh, first of all, inside the child component to fire that custom event, I'm going to create a button. Let name let's name it as lightning button, and let's name it as pass data to parent as soon as user clicks on it handle click is going to run and inside our handle click uh, what are we going to do is we are going to fire a custom event now to create a custom event we can do it this way okay first of all we create a custom event or we can directly dispatch a event dispatch event new custom event right. and inside this this would be the name of my custom event first custom event and inside this custom event, I'm going to pass some details as well so for an example I'm going to pass name So basically what I'm doing is I have, I will just show you what I've done. As soon as user is going to click on this button, okay, uh, that is passed to pass data to parent, this function is going to run. And inside this function, I have created a new custom event. And the name of the custom event is first cust if, okay, this is name. You can any, you can place anything. I can even place Salesforce in five minutes. You can name anything uh, to your custom event. You can place anything, okay? Uh, whatever you want, it's not specific to something. So as it's a custom event, uh, that's why. So I have named my custom event as first cust eve, okay? Now once that I've done, what I'm doing is inside this custom event, I also I have to also pass some details, right? I can I have to pass the name. It also along with the name, you can also pass other data by giving comma like phone number. You can also pass something like this. Okay, you can always do that. But right now we're just passing the name. So what I'm doing is inside this custom event, along with this custom event, I'm passing some details, which includes the name. And the name includes passed from child. Okay, and this event, I am firing this event using this dot dispatch event. So overall custom event is created with the name and along with that, it has some details and I'm firing this event from my child component as soon as the user is going to click on this button. Okay, so let's go to the diagram once. 
okay so this is my child component what i've done is i've created right now a custom event okay i've created my custom event and i have i have fired it from my child component but still it's not handled inside the parent okay i have just fired from the child component but it's not yet handled inside the parent it can be handled in any parent uh, component so right now as it's fired from this uh, child component now i'll go to the parent component inside the parent component i have embedded this child component right this child component i have embedded inside the uh, parent component as well okay now uh, what i need to do is i need to handle the fired event from the child to handle that just take the name of your event that is first cursed eve whatever it is and apply an on in front of it on that's it and then you can uh, create a function for it handle event okay and we can go handle event parent trace okay so now what i've done is <clears throat> What I've done is the uh, the event was fired. Okay, whatever the event was fired, I've handled the same event inside the parent. I've handled it inside the parent using this following stuff. I've handled this uh, parent the event that was fired from the child using my events name. That the name of the event was first cursed first cursed Eve. I have handled this by using on in front of it. Right, I'm calling the child component and using on in front of it. And whatever data I'm going to get in from this event, I'm handling it inside the handle event method. Okay, it can be anything. You can name it uh, not even handle event. I can name it anything like Salesforce in five minutes. I can name it anything as far as the name. Now inside this event, whatever data has been passed to get that particular data, what we can do is alert data in parent. Let's name it as data in parent plus from this e event. That is from the whole event. We are just going to get event from this event. Events detail. Okay, use that's why I'm going to use detail. I want name, right? Event dot detail dot name. So so this is the whole. This is nothing but an event. From this event, okay, from this particular event, I want details, and from these details, I want name. So that's why I'm using event dot detail dot name. Okay, so I'm going to deploy it and also one more thing the parent component that i have i have embedded this uh, embedded the child component inside the parent component and this parent component is added to the home page of our uh, screen okay so now i'm going to refresh this Yeah, data is added button is added as we can see uh, past it i'll just uh, change the u uh, variant so that the button is visible to us now in this particular space what i've done is i have added the parent component okay this whole parent component but as child component is called inside the parent component and child component has a button that's why you are able to see a button over here now as soon as i'm going to click on this button what's going to happen is it will create a custom event with this name and it will pass this following details okay now as soon as this details has been passed this parent component is handling that event inside the handle event method and we are printing the specific data as far as the needed so now if i click on this pass parent so as we can see data passed is in parent so it's coming from data in parent this is coming from here data in parent and even dot detail dot name which is been passed from the child that is passed from the child is coming next to it so long story short all you have to do is you fire you have to fire a custom event from your child component and somehow you have to handle the event inside your parent component so this is how you can pass the data from your child component to the parent component if you found this video helpful i request you to please subscribe to this channel